Hello, welcome to my fourth tutorial of 3ds Max 9. I'm Pimple Pie, and today I'll be teaching you how to use ragdolls in the reactor and how to animate them. Just the basics of them. Alright, so what we have here is a little setup of uh, basically just some very poorly stacked boxes that'll fall as soon as you animate them. Let's see, I already did that for us. You already know how to do that. If you don't, you can go to my uh, first tutorial. It teaches you about how everything works and how to use the properties. But let's get started. So first go to create, systems, biped, and drag up the height. I'm going to make them as tall as two boxes. And over here, you know, before you actually make them, you can change his body type and stuff. But I just leave it as a skeleton. It doesn't really bother me. Okay, we're going to drag him up and on top of the boxes. Just like that. Alright, and um, come over here to the red box right here on the bottom bottom left excuse me type in rct make rag doll ui space parenthesis with 9 and a parenthesis with 0 press enter and the white box will say ok and this will pop up uh, click constrain humanoid right here and on the humanoid just select biped 01 and um, click and train humanoid and basically what that does is that makes him have all his joints and stuff actually work in reactor and all this stuff is actually like pretty ugly when you're working with him it's like if you select some of that you can't really see what you're doing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide most of that so come over here and see select by name and select all the constraints and ah uh, yeah select constraints all the way down to the rigid body collection holding shift and clicking select and then right click and go to hide selection okay okay select the guy move zoom in a little bit all right with him selected come over here into the motion tab, it's a wheel and first we'll run through the basics the basics of walking, you go click footstep mode and what that does is that it's going to help you, it's going to create the footsteps for you or it can, you can place them wherever you want or you can just, yeah, have it make them for you you can like run, jump, or walk walk is the only one that really looks realistic though so we should choose walk, click create multiple footsteps, or have them walk five steps, and then you bind them to the inactive footsteps, and when you play, he walks. And you can move these around individually. See? His foot's like up in the air. Trying to hit that one. Alright. Yeah. We're not going to be using that right now, but it's good to know. So, uh, what we're actually going to be doing here is making them jump. And that's something we have to create ourselves. You can use this, but I like to create my own because the way we're going to be doing it is a little different. So, hide the biped tab and the biped apps tab. The thing what you should have shown is, uh, Sorry. Also, unclick the footstep mode. Make sure you do that. The only one you should have shown is track selection and key info. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by dragging them down a little bit, the ground a little bit. Key that. Press the red button to key stuff. Select his feet. Drag them up. And. That. Alright. I'm gonna bend his back a little bit. Kinda like if you were really jumping, you'd bend your back a little bit. So key that. Also, do the second one, it looks a little more realistic. Bend his head. Make his head look down a little bit. Make him look like he's. 
I'm trying to see what he's doing. It's like hold his hands, move them up like that. Okay. Now we're gonna slide this over. Oh, sorry. Slide this over to about five. Actually, we'll do three. It's because he's pushing up hard. Uh, drag his feet back down to being straight. Uh, pretty much straight. Drag his body up. Throw his feet on the floor. Also move his hands up. Start to make them look up, kind of. So this is our animation so far. Okay. At frame 10, he's going to reach his max height. So take this body vertical, drag him up to that right here. Key that. Up, like trying to grab onto something. Uh, make him look up like that. And also have his body straighten out a little bit. Okay, so here's our animation. Okay, so when do these start falling? At 11 is when we're actually going to have him fall and turn into a ragdoll. Actually, we'll do it at 10. Alright, so now that we've done that, come over here into uh, Utilities. Uh, sorry about that. Alright, come over here into Utilities, Reactor. Um on Hide Havoc and Preview. Collision Tolerance 1. Start frame at 10. Preview animation. Yeah, that looked good. Okay, so that looked good. We like that, so we're going to create the animation. Here's our animation. See, he falls. Okay, now I'll get a better angle for us in a minute. Okay, I did a little camera work, and this is our animation. So I hope this helped, and PM me if it didn't. I had to shorten it up. The last one was 12 minutes. Hopefully this one works. See ya.